All right, got a little project today. I was uh, driving the other night, and my mirror fell off. So I stopped at Walmart, because I was right in front of Walmart, and I bought a handheld mirror and a roll of clear packing tape, and that was my solution for getting home. All right, let's fix this thing. need to do roll the window down and remove this Phillips head screw and I believe that's it door panel and here's a piece of foam insulation we're gonna reinstall that but you'll see there's the bolts that actually hold the mirror on all right these bolts are 10 millimeter and uh, not exactly easy to get to one is very easy to get to the other two you're gonna need a wrench all right I gotta enter no hard. I gotta interrupt this video right here. I lost a whole bunch of footage of me drilling all the holes in the body of the truck. I had to drill two holes for the bottom bracket and a single hole for the top. I'm so sorry, I lost the footage. So I figured I'd just stop right here, explain it to you. And uh, all right, let's get back to the show. All right, I just got back from the hardware store. Let me tell you something about bicycles. Cars run on gas and cost you money. Bicycles run on fat and save you money. Now fortunately for me, I have more fat than money. Here's my little bag of hardware. It's all quarter 20 with nylocks. This first bracket on. I'm just gonna leave everything loose for now. Tighten it up at the end. Cutting it a little close with this top bracket. But I think if I put a little torque on it, it'll kind of squish in. You can see I had to put it right in the channel. It should ride right up against this gasket. This gasket goes on top this one goes in here so it should fall right in between these two gaskets and down on this bottom bracket I don't know if we can see it I drilled right through where there's two walls of double wall of steel all right here's the hoop somehow get that on there one bolt there Today, this is what I got. I'm <laughs> gonna get a short bolt down here. Let me get some wrenches and snug all this up. These are my favorite quarter 20, so everything's 7 16th. 7 16th wrench, 7 16th ratchet. 
and away you go. Emily, I don't have the right nut for here. So I might have to take this mirror to the hardware store. I have two different threads here. They're the right size, but it's the wrong thread count. So take the mirror with me. Hopefully I can find something. And then I still want to build a strut that goes from here to here to stop that wiggle. Can you see that? I know it's a steady cam, but the sucker's wiggling. And that's how I did the passenger side. Just an L bracket. This is a piece of conduit. I threw a little extra silver spray paint on it to try to help it match. But that's it. That's how you put your West Coast Junior mirrors on your OBS truck. Now you can ride like a big rig. All right, guys. I'll see you next time. Old non-working compressor. All right, we got the handle. All right, there's our strut. Took the handle off of that compressor and I just smashed it flat with a hammer on each end, cut it to fit, drilled some holes. This little L bracket is really cheesy. This is like a little hardware store coming to pack. So I'm gonna upgrade that, but not right now. And like I said, I still gotta take this thing to the uh, to the hardware store and find that right thread. And then I can get this all adjusted and snug down. But there it goes. She still wobbles a little. Might have to put a brace in this way. Stop the up and down wobble. All right, let's wrap this video up.